exotic beaches, clear blue skies, uncrowded surf. These are the images that surfers cling to. If you've ever been there, then this will be a pleasant reminder. If you haven't, then you better start packing your bags. I'm Laird Hamilton, and this is Surfer Magazine. Surfer's high society issue begins after this. Hobie Apparel team riders Byron Kurt and Terrence McNulty surf every chance they can get. Even though they're teammates, they've chosen different ways to ride the waves. Byron prefers longboards, while Terrence prefers modern equipment. The one thing they do share in common is their hardcore approach in the water. hard all week. Like many of us, he doesn't have the luxury of getting out the water as much as he'd like. So Surfer invited him and fellow Hobie teammate Terrence McNulty on an escape to Costa Rica. Byron's an accomplished shortboard surfer, but prefers to compete on a longboard. Go out there and surf some ways and have fun. I mean, that's what that's what it's all about. You know, a competition thing's a lot of fun, but, you know, it's, I think it's more for fun. in the shortboard first and then got into riding on the longboard just because the competition got a little bit tough and to get good at, at shortboard and obviously you gotta surf all the time and me having a 40 50 hour a week job i didn't have the time to put it all in so went to longboard and it's really fun competing with a, a lot of the really good guys out there like the dobsons and the fletchers and stuff like that and then but when the waves get big you don't want to go out there and bust the longboard and then it's fun riding the shortboard do some performance surfing especially at some good beach breaks like we got here at uh, Fly Hermosa. So that's why I prefer to ride bull. You know, probably up to about six feet on longboards and then above that, shortboards. One of Hobie's brightest stars is Californian Terrence McNulty. for the Hobie team, knowing that there's been a lot of great surfers before me ride for them. And it's such a small team that there's not, not a lot of, they just kind of work on their own little niche. And it's, it's an honor to ride for them, really, to know that some of the great surfers before I rode for them. Terrence has come through with some impressive performances on the PSAA Tour but it's really his free surfing in big waves that's brought him recognition. Five brothers who grew up surfing on beach road, and you know, I'm the fourth one, so I got a lot of terrorizing when I was little, doing a lot of dishes and a lot of scroungy work, a lot of thumpings, but, uh, it's neat having older brothers. I wouldn't trade it for anything. You can paddle out, have a surf with them, be able to look up, see what they've done as examples, what they've done as 
good examples and bad examples and take it for what it's worth. Fighting for waves with his older brothers, Chris, Brian, and Sean, Terrence was destined to become a competitive surfer. What pushes him now? Traveling and meeting good friends and seeing how they live their lives and their attitude towards life. So it's just really neat. Meeting different cultures, really. They're just far away from the everyday hassles of Southern California. You'd think that with only these two guys in the water that there'd be enough waves. Well, first of all, I got the wave first, and this guy oh, no. comes in behind. Now, and then I try to be a nice guy. I went, so we're going to try to do some crisscrosses. And I go, Terrence, jump on. And once he, what does he do? He goes and pushes me off. <laughs> Just a little payback for Byron. Yeah, what a nice Hobie team rider. Never I mean, rides a short board. Always rides wait, 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 a wait, wave wait. hog long board. <laughs> Someone had to pay him back. <laughs> Byron Kurt and Terrence McNulty, keeping up the stoke of Team Hobie. Have you ever wondered why during some spells, the swells just keep coming? Why it seems every three days the surf's up and in between it's not bad either. This week we're going to unravel some of the mysteries of wave climate with a closer look at cluster storms and El Nino. While every surfer knows that waves are made by wind, the origin of wind is less apparent. Actually, the wind is driven by the heat of the sun, heat that becomes stored in warm ocean waters to later be released into the air by water vapor evaporated from the sea surface. As the air receives this heat, it rises to often condense as clouds, causing surface winds to flow in under those clouds to replace the rising warm air. Over a large expanse of ocean, Cloud condensation and the resulting surface winds become deflected by the Earth's rotational forces to form the swirls and sweeps of oceanic cyclones and weather fronts. Because of this process, large numbers or clusters of ocean storms are formed over extensive pools of unusually warm ocean water. And those pools of warm water are drastically rearranged by the El Nino phenomena. El Nino is due to a relaxation in the trade winds which occurs on the average every seven years. When the trade winds slow down, warm water piled up against the western sides of the ocean basins sloshes back to the east, creating warm water anomalies between California and Hawaii and off the coast of Peru. That warm water then fuels the cluster storms of an outrageous surfing season, like the one that's on the way. You see, we're having a building El Nino for the 1991-92 season. Imagine the possibilities. Think about it. For Planet Surf, I'm Dr. Scott Jenkins. starting a film where we get to surf and skydive and you know the sun's going down and we're in the water and it's clean and it's kind of warm and it's just like life is good the ultimate rush nothing that comes close to it not even sex we are the ex-president total commitment Real thin line between life and death. I'm not a punk. It's not tragic to die doing what you love. If you want the ultimate, you gotta be willing to pay the ultimate price. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and please don't forget the boat. You wanna nail the bank robbers and be a big hero? Definitely. The ex-presidents are surfers. You're trying to tell me the FBI is going to pay me to learn to surf. Fear causes hesitation. 
and hesitation will cause your worst fears to come true. He'll take you to the edge. Past it. This is going to be a great day, Johnny. I think taxpayers would like it, Utah, if they knew that they were paying a federal agent to surf and pick up girls. Babes. Big one. The correct term is babes, sir. Whoa! Tell me. I caught my first tube this morning. On one level, it's it's very exciting. On another level, I think it it um, is kind of transcendent. Bells is bigger than YMA, bro. We'll be next year. Cody believes the 50-year storm is coming next year. 50-year storm. What's that? That's kind of a legend. No, it's real. It's absolutely real. Everything moves in cycles. So twice a century, the ocean lets us know just how small we really are. A winter storm comes out of Antarctica, tearing up the Pacific. And it sends a huge swell north 2,000 miles. And when it hits Bells Beach, it'll turn into the biggest surf this planet has ever seen, and I will be there. So will I. You want the ultimate, you gotta be willing to pay the ultimate price. Johnny Utah is really an everyman, and he comes into contact with a person that is truly enlightened. You still haven't figured out what riding waves is all about, have you? It's a state of mind. It's that place where you lose yourself and you find yourself. You don't know it yet, but you got it. It's right there. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd say you looked almost happy. Come here. This the guy? Yeah. Okay. I know. This is where, uh... Run! On this film, I tried not to throw the same punch, not to do the same fight, not to do the same car slide or anything at all, except one time. Look at him. Like some kind of tribe. They got their own language. You can't just walk up to those guys. You have to get out there and learn the moves, get into their head, pick up the speech. You're trying to tell me the FBI is going to pay me to learn to surf. How hard can it be? I got in the water and got smashed. and drank a lot of it. Pacific's a little shallower now. Now so this is a little ceremony we always do at the end of the summer. One last speed star. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the reason I wanted to do this role was an opportunity for me to sort out my adrenaline junkie side.
It's time to catch up with Sonny Miller as he files this week's surf report. When you hear the word Tahiti, you immediately start thinking of beautiful lagoons, cascading waterfalls, and a tropical paradise. But for two Hawaiian surfers like Mark Fu and Chris Lassen, the images are all this and more. For them, it was private reefs and perfect tubes. Join us as we head to the Society Islands for that Polynesian spirit. where surfing's high society join up with perfect waves that fire off during the Southern Hemisphere's winter. Mark Fu and Chris Lassen teamed up with filmmaker Dan Merkel for some high adventure in the Society Islands. And just about every wave they could slot in the tube. And they had a good trip, and then if we get some big waves here on the North Shore, like a Waimea swell, we're gonna go back. I love Tahiti. It kind of reminds me of Hawaii when we first arrived here back in 1967. And uh, I don't know, it's a beautiful place. It, it, the reefs are a little hard to get to because the, uh, they're like fringe reefs and they're, everything's a quarter mile out to sea at least. So if you don't have a boat, it's really a long paddle. Best trip of my life. Team score. That's what we call ourselves now, team score. Um, it really has opened my, my eyes to um, to surfing you know it really it got, you brought me back to where what surfing is supposed to be the surf in tahiti is as good as it comes but it demands respect and expert water skills seasoned hawaiian waterman mark fu and chris lassen connected well in these perfect conditions mark Fu's one of my best friends and and um we always get good waves together wherever we go we always seem to score good waves so and we we get along good because we got you know kind of similar personalities or kind of sarcastic and <laughs> I don't know but um, I like surfing with him because he he's not afraid of anything in the water I mean nothing intimidates him. gets me to go out and, and surf that I might feel a little intimidated by sometimes. So it's great because he has a real go for it attitude and, and he's a good surfer and he's intelligent and we have a lot of fun together. is another one of my best friends. He's great. He's like an army sergeant. He just <laughs> If there's sun and there's a wave, you're out there or else you, you'll never live it down. In fact, he'll film the waves that you miss just to kind of piss you off a little bit. Uh, here's one that laughs and miss. I mean, it's just a perfect barrel going by. But that's all right. He keeps you on your toes and he gets you to, to get out there and do your best. Ocean swells passing through narrow straits focus their energy on the shallow coral reefs, sometimes miles from shore. Tahiti is a very special place, and it's a place that is due a lot of respect because of its beauty. There's not many places left like it in the world. We need to really cherish those, those kind of uh, areas and not take advantage of them. As the world shrinks every year, we begin to realize just how special places like Tahiti really are. If, if you decide to go down there and surf, um, like what I said about bringing a surfboard down for the bros, you know, to have that kind of attitude where you're, you're not going down there just to take, but you're going down there to give as well.
So if you're a surfer and you think you're ready for a taste of high society, pack your bags and head for Tahiti. I think if you're good to Tahiti, Tahiti will be good to you. Costa Rica, the world. The endless summer can be yours. Don't just dream about it, make it happen. On the next issue of Surfer, school's out. For Surfer Magazine, I'm Laird Hamilton, and I'll be back.